Some big names coming from Lincoln College include Matt Hughes from the UFC and uh, NBA star Kevin Gamble and uh, several others. It's uh, sad to see that this institution, 157 year old, is going to be not offering academic classes anymore uh, after this spring semester, May 13th. Well, what does this independent university mean for a local community like Lincoln, Illinois, just north of Springfield? To talk about the impacts on his community is Lincoln Mayor Tracy Welch here with Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop. Mayor, thanks for taking time. Uh, I guess let's get your initial reaction here. Uh, What's ultimately this mean for your community? Well, you know, the loss is devastating to the community, that's for sure. Um, It it touches so many people and if you have time i I mean go out on the facebook page for the lincoln college i went out there yesterday and there's a video that that really shows just how it impacts us students as well um you know it'll touch our local economy as well we know that i think that we can address as we get further down the road but right now myself uh senator sally turner representative tim butler um, some individuals like that. We're looking at some options, seeing if we can provide some help. Um, I've got a meeting with President Gerlach this morning. I'm going to go in and see what we can do to, to help them out. But yeah, it's, it's a huge, devastating um, loss to the community. We're looking at uh, like 900 some odd students that were enrolled. Uh, what was the staffing like there? Um, how many staff are you familiar with? And uh, uh, just what kind of economic impact does having a, a college like Lincoln College have for a, a community the size of Lincoln, Illinois? Well, I'm not familiar with their staffing levels. I, I just will say that living here in the community my whole life, I do know that there are a number of them out there that, you know, I'm friends and colleagues with as well. Um, but, you know, the loss of, of the college itself, when you're talking about the faculty and staff that are now going to be displaced from jobs. You have students now that are looking to other options to continue their education, but all of those individuals, they, they are local and they're just as important to the local economy as those of us who live here. And so when you have, you know, 500 to 750 students, whatever that number may be right now, um, displaced from the community, Surely our businesses are going to are going to take a hit, especially those that are close to the college in proximity within walking distance that we always see the students patronizing. We're talking with Lincoln Mayor Tracy Welch here with Springfield's Morning News about the impacts of the planned closure of Lincoln College. Uh, come May 13th, at the end of the spring semester, they'll no longer be offering academic uh, offerings for uh, future semesters. Uh, what ultimately do you know of that's going to happen with the facilities there? I mean, are they still going to be uh, around, just not offering uh, classes? Or how is this going to play out after uh, May 13th? I can only share what I have seen online um, last night with the video with um it was a video of President Gerlach speaking with the students. Um, the way it sounds, recruiting is has stopped as a result of the announcement. Um, the classes will be done at the end of the semester. They are working with other universities and colleges to provide a path into other, or for those students into those other locations. So they're already working on helping those students, but the facility itself, it sounds like, will be inactive at that point. Um, what happens with the assets they, they have left, I think is ultimately up to the board of trustees and the, the state. So we're curious to see where that's gonna lead to because one of the facilities that's out there is the Lincoln Heritage Museum. And that's a world renowned museum to showcase President Abraham Lincoln if that is shut down, um, then that's another loss and another capacity from a tourism perspective. So, you know, there's a lot of things that we've been thinking about since we heard about this. And um, that's what I'm hoping to learn more in my conversation with uh, President Gerlach this morning. 
Again, talking with uh, Lincoln Mayor Tracy Welch here with Springfield's Morning News, now 745. I'm Greg Bishop. Uh, as, as an elected official, as somebody who uh, is always looking to boost the economy in your area, of course, more economic activity means more resources and uh, more services that uh, the city can offer. Uh, what what plans do you have now with this with this announcement uh, here uh, that Lincoln College isn't going to be uh, having uh, academic offerings after the spring semester. Uh, what, what's what's on Lincoln's docket to, to try to attract uh, more economic activity to that area? Well, we've had a number of uh, economic activities that, that we've started to ramp up just as part of our natural uh, program, but now we're going to have to work a little harder. Um, Lincoln College is the second uh, university that has, or college or university that has announced a closure of some sort. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Lincoln Christian University announced about 45 days ago that they're downsizing their footprint here in Lincoln. So um, we're losing not just Lincoln College, but um, students and staff from the other university. And so those of us that spend time in that economic development arena we're just going to have to work all that more harder to attract people to the community and do what we can to rebound. Um, there's nothing saying that a huge donor couldn't come in and save Lincoln College. Um, I think it would take tens of millions of dollars to do that. But um, in the meantime, we're just going to we're going to plan for the worst and, and hope for the best and do what we can to keep um, keep Lincoln moving. We'll definitely uh, stay in touch on uh, what uh, what could happen there in Lincoln with the ongoing efforts to uh, keep the economy float and uh, respond to some of these uh, uh, recent uh, closure announcements and uh, um, uh, the the announcements to uh, Lincoln Christian College uh, reduce its footprint. I didn't see that, so I appreciate you sharing that with us. Uh, just another uh, indication of uh, the, the the work that you guys have ahead of you in Lincoln, Illinois. Uh, Tracy Welch, greatly appreciate you taking the time this morning. We'll talk again soon, okay? Yep, thank you very much. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop, and now 740. 740-